Move of South Bank, mate. Can we chat for a moment as you're heading for the... Mate, well, this discussion of pre-selecting women for uh, the federal election coming up, I'd like to propose, and perhaps you can pass it along to your Liberal context, that they pre-select that lady Cathy Sheriff for the uh, seat of Maribyrnong. Do you think that would be an interesting contest? Doesn't Bill Shorten hold that seat by about 16 points? Uh, yes, points? yes, but it would be it would be interesting if a woman uh, named Cathy Sheriff uh, was pre-selected yes. to uh, um, de uh, debate with Bill the uh, the f uh, aspects of fa the safety of women. I think that would be a very interesting outcome. Could be. Uh, mate, thanks for your time. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders. I, uh, I hope this, my suggestion of uh, pre-selecting Cathy Sheriff from Maribyrnong gained some traction. I'll uh, look forward to any de developments on that score. Um, I'm hopeful of uh, chatting with some of the other guests this morning, uh, it remains to be seen. Uh, the, uh, one of the other issues that I wanted to uh, try and chat about, uh, they were on about medical evacuations from uh, Manus Island and Nauru. And I just wish that commentators would always take the time to comment on how those people came to be there in the first place. I looked up the figures of uh, boat arrivals over recent years. And you'll see that uh, there was a hiatus between 2003 and 2008 because the Pacific Solution was uh, working a treat. And then all of a sudden there's an uptick in 2008, culminating in uh, 2013 approximately. Uh, the figures suggest that there were about 51,000 unlawful boat arrivals in Australia after the Labor Party weakened our border protection laws and plus over a thousand people drowned at sea. I believe the, uh, the most disastrous event was the sinking of the Sea of X where uh, in excess of 300 people drowned on that occasion. I, I just wish that commentators would continue to draw that to the attention of uh, Labor Party spokesmen whenever possible and to the Australian public at large. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders.